Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Posh card to review today, who is going to be the Dynamic Duo Link to the Arnautovic card. Uh, this is an absolute W because obviously these two are Austrian cards. I give you a link to David Alaba if you did end up doing that SPC, which I told you guys, one of the better center backs in this game. Um, but the Posh card being Austrian is one thing, but the fact that they've given him some pretty decent stats to work with is another thing because look, medium, medium work rated, another medium, medium work rated card, right? So that's a pretty sick link to work with when it comes to the Austrian players by itself. But in game, guys, he's six foot two, medium, medium work rates, right footed two star skills with a three star weak foot. With this card in game, guys, you can give him a shadow chemistry style, boosting his pace to be in a fantastic area, his defense in a fantastic area, while working with a high and average plus body type with some decent physical capabilities. This card for 20 something K or just 20 K looks like he could be a very decent option to work with in the center back position to provide you that triple link setup to Arnautovic. Okay, so some very good stuff so far because it's always nice to have lower acceleration, higher sprint speed for the lengthy type players. Because if you do any sort of over commitment with these guys, their track back should be very nice to work with, right? Uh, shooting capabilities, he has none. Passing, he's okay at it. The main thing that you're obviously going to probably have to work with in game is going to be the on the ball dribbling on the ball dribbling. No matter what anybody tells you is always going to be a super important things, even with the center backs, because once someone activates the pressure tactics, you need to be able to kind of get out of that pressure ta uh, pressure tactic as much as possible uh, to kind of avoid those types of goals, because pressure tactics is yet again, very, very overpowered, uh, too effective, right? The EA needs to figure out a thing that you can actually get the ball back from people time wasting, but definitely not the right solution. But they kept in the game again. Uh, but the dribbling. Is going to be in a rough spot, right? 56 agility dribbling stat itself is at a 42, but hopefully he compensates well by actually offering good defensive capabilities in game so that, you know, if we do get into a situation where his dribbling is rough under the current custom tactics of, you know, being pressured and stuff, he's still pretty good in those areas, right? Again, pace is set up really nicely. Defense is set up really nicely. His physical stats being in the lower side, I don't really mind as much because he's a high and average plus body type while being six foot two. So those two things together kind of adds like a new variable to the card, right? Where it's like, yes, he may not have like, you know, I'll give you guys an example. Like obviously we're not, this is a bad example because this card is one of the best center backs in the game, right? But David Alaba, white shirt. No, nope, I already had a feeling it wasn't that one. Uh, this one right here, you know, you give him an anchor chemistry style, he's working with fantastic physical, right? With dribbling, all that kind of stuff. So it definitely adds something to it. But Alaba also doesn't have that body type and height. So it's it's very different, okay? Um, so this card in game, guys, we are going to be using him uh, in foot champs for a 4-2-3-1 setup. Uh, it's really well balanced for this current team because what we'll do is we'll use him in the right center back position while David Alaba is playing in the left center back position. So we just put a team quickly together here. I have this, this lone uh, Champions League Rafinha. Didn't even give him a chemistry style. Just going to throw him in there uh, for the foot champs game so that we can kind of just get the reviews out for Arnautovic and for uh, the posh card. So guys, we're going to see how he performs in game. Hopefully he is a beast. Nice pass off. Oh, that was a brilliant tackle. Oh, man. Could have resulted in a goal there. Look around, Switch. Oh, am I going to get it? No, I'm lucky. Well done, well done. I couldn't tell you what just happened right there. Honestly, I have I have no idea. That's like that wasn't even I don't know if that was deflected. It could have been, maybe. Okay. 
good. The outside trap actually worked there. Switch. Nice, that was really good acceleration actually. Go posh. Nice, he had to win that. Good block. He's trying to do the power shot there. Guy's been decent so far, man. Not bad, especially since he's providing that link to Arnautovic. Oh, he's putting pressure tactics, guys. There goes all my players, but putting put on, put under pressure. Nice slide challenge. Overcommitted, we still got it. Let's go. Let's go, Posh. Trackback was really good there, though. I overcommitted him like crazy. First time pass again. Gotta be careful of the kickoff, boys. Oh, and Posh helps me out. That's the that's the problem, right? So right there, you gotta be careful that the dribbling is not the best when you're under pressure. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Posh SBC. So in my honest opinion, guys, this is the first dynamic duo SBC W that we have had so far this year. Obviously, you could have gotten the other cards for sentimental value when it comes to the Leeds United players, when it comes to the Marseille players. Sure, you can get them for sentimental value, but in-game, those cards really don't offer you that much, in my honest opinion, right? Harrison, Rodrigo, they just don't really offer you that much. However, with this dynamic duo today, Arnautovic and Posh are absolute Ws, okay? Because both of these cards are are cheap versions of their cards, right? 20K for each card is ridiculous for the triple link setup and for what they offer in game. It's fantastic, okay? Because you guys know me, man. I love to use different types of teams, different types of players. I was using these two guys for my last three games for foot champs, and both of them performed really, really well. In this team, like I was mentioning, right? Playing him in the center back position with him being medium, medium work rated and Alaba being medium, medium work rated. If you guys are building some sort of team in the future where you have some Austrian players in there, it's really, really sick to work with. I love cards like this that are released because if they did this to all of the other cards too, to make them really good in the meta of the gameplay, it's awesome because they gave him all the right things, okay? This card is by default a lengthy player. You can give him a shadow to fully utilize that lengthy because acceleration and sprint speed is set up in a fantastic area. Defensive stats massively increased. Defensive awareness, you don't mind as much. Obviously in this game, medium high is usually the full meta. It's usually the one that you want the most because it performs really, really nicely in game, right? But regardless, he still defended well because his height and his body type, those two things together works really well. It didn't feel like I had to give him a physical boost on the card with an anchor chemistry style because of the height and physical uh, body type that he already has, right? So definitely a massive plus of a dynamic duo SBC. Very, very good stuff from EA. 20K for this card as an SBC that you're putting fodder into is incredible in my opinion. Like I, I really like this dynamic duo. I hope that in the future they continue to do cards like this because the first two, in my opinion, were L's for the meta of the game. Because guys, 
with the gameplay game modes and the way that they exist, right? You're gonna be playing to try to get to the elite division. You're gonna get to a certain point where you use those other two. They're not gonna be that crazy, but these two cards can be competent enough to play in foot champs and to play in the higher divisions and actually perform well enough for you. So obviously there's always gonna be like full meta cards, of course, but these guys will actually do work for you. So Dynamic Duo SBCW, in my opinion, really, really good stuff. Um, if we take a look at the comparisons, of center backs obviously to austrian there's no point in comparing that because he is uh already giving that link or providing that link with alaba and arnautovic that triple link setup by itself is really sick uh benucci really decent card i actually like him a lot very very solid uh don't mind the price range of it but it's 45k right that you have to actually buy off the market bremer uh pretty decent as well in game uh not bad at all tamori is pretty decent as well but i want you guys to take a look at the price of all of these cards in game that are actually solid center backs, right? So for what this card provides you with that triple link setup to Arnautovic while giving you Syria links, it is a WSBC in my opinion. So uh, some very good stuff from EA. I know I've said it like a billion times, but I don't, I, I'm, I'm a fan of like having an Arnautovic in FIFA because he's a foot legend. This guy, the center back dude, I don't know who he is, but I love cards like this. You know what I'm saying? Cards that are just like i can use in the meta of the gameplay and they'll be sick enough so i like it good stuff guys thanks for watching the video today i'll catch you guys for the next one peace out dudes love you guys